Hello. Today we're going to be looking at gender stereotypes. So today our essential question is, um, how do gender stereotypes shape our experiences online? All right. So we're going to be talking about what do we think about gender stereotypes? So, um, I'm going to show you a couple of statements and then I want you to tell me off to the right what you think about these statements. All right. So the first statement is this girls worry about how they look. So I want you to on the right hand side, tell me what do you think about this statement? Is it true? Is it false? What do you, why do you think those things? Okay. All right. Here's our next statement I want you to think about and tell me about. Boys are competitive and like to win. All right. I want you to tell me about that one. Do you think it's true? Do you think it's false? What do you um, think about that statement? Our next, all right, our next statement is girls are all drama queens, all right? Tell me what you think about that statement. Is it um, true? Is it false? What makes you think those things? And now our last one is boys are all aggressive and loud. So what do you think about those statements? All right. Okay. So all those statements had to do with, um, gender stereotypes. Off to the right, I would like you to tell me what you think gender stereotypes are. Now remember, there is no right or wrong answer. I just want you to type and tell me what you think gender stereotypes are. Okay, so a gender stereotype is an oversimplified ideas about how women and men are or how they should be. Okay. Now these ideas or beliefs are often part of our culture and we can easily be influenced by them. So these stereotypes can come from many places like our family, our friends, and our community, but they also come from online sources like social media, YouTube, and Netflix. Okay. So, um, now it's your turn. I want to you to think about some of your experiences online and I want you to give me some examples of some gender stereotypes you've seen or heard and they can be from a TV show, they can be from a movie, they can be from music, they can be from something you've seen online. Well, give me some examples of some things you've seen that are gender stereotypes and I want you to um, put them off to the right so I need if you can give me three examples that would be great. All right. So here's some gender stereotypes that I have thought of. Okay. Um, so in scary movies, most of the girls are portrayed as stupid and they're usually the ones that get killed off first. And Mrs. Carlson doesn't know how to spell the word first, apparently. Um, also in country music videos, if a guy is singing the song, then usually all the girls are wearing skimpy outfits. So that's a gender stereotype, thinking that all country women wear short shorts and crop tops. And on TV shows about families, um, the dads are usually bumbling idiots that can't take care of the kids. So if you think about some of those TV shows that have families in them, the dads are usually the ones who are having problems taking care of the kids. And that's just a stereotype. They always make the mom look to be out to be good and they make the dad look like they're a bumbling idiot. All right, so that leads us to the word um, bias, okay? So stereotypes can lead people to have a bias, and we've heard that word a lot lately in the news, but do you know what it means? So off to the right, I want you to write what you think your definition of bias is. Right or wrong, doesn't matter. I just want to know what do you think bias is, okay? All right. So here's what a bias is. It's an unfair belief about a person or a group based on a stereotype. Okay. So that leads us to this word, which is a stereotype. Okay. So a stereotype is a, um, it's a, it's a way we look at a certain group of people. And, um, so for instance, we look at when we think all girls are drama queens, that was a stereotype. 
All right, so here's what we need to remember about stereotypes. Stereotypes are oversimplifications. So they actually lump one group of people into a, a group that have the same quality, whether they have it or not. And that's just not fair when we group one group of people into um, one single group. All right, so let's talk about what's going on today. So what to do next? Here's what you're going to do. You are going to go to Google Classroom and under gender stereotypes, there is a gender stereotype worksheet. Okay. Um, it is going to look like this. Okay. So you're going to look at each picture and you're going to tell me if it's a gender stereotype. And then you're going to tell me what in this picture makes you think that it's a gender stereotype. Okay. Is it the way they're dressed? Is it the actions they're doing? So there are three pages of these. So there are six pictures that you're going to look at. So make sure you do all of them. You're going to type your answers in these boxes. So when you click on the box, you should be able to type your answer right in there. Okay. And the boxes will move down um, as the more you type. So that is the first thing you're going to do. And then when you get done with that and you hit the turn in button up here, which I don't have because I'm not in Google Classroom, but you'll have a turn in button. When you get done with that, you're going to go to the quiz and you're going to go ahead and fill out the quiz. Quiz. It is three questions long. Just go ahead and fill it out. And hit submit when you're done. So those are the things that you are going to do today. All right. So you're going to do the gender stereotype worksheet and then you're going to do the gender quiz. If you have any questions, come see me.